run quotes on a leader client in the database, first we'll need to go to their page and we can enter in their name in the search field at the top and we'll select the person we're looking for. This will take us into their lead and client page. From here we'll click on quotes in the page navigation and we'll have two options to run quick quotes or to run quotes with a health analyzer, which is CompuLife's health analyzer to determine what rates they'll qualify for. We'll choose just to run the quick quotes and we'll qualify them ourselves as we're talking with them. From here you'll notice that some of the information is already entered. You also have some other information on the right side here from the other screens in the person's record giving you some information on them. We'll enter them in here as a preferred health category. Now you may have an option in here that came from the policy page such as preferred non-tobacco. It always has to be one of the four options here so if it's anything other than that you'll need to reselect it and we'll enter in the amount of insurance he's looking for a level term period. Here you have a number of different options of things you can quote. We'll keep the top 10 as selected. You can also choose to run just a single company and we'll click instant quote which will bring up our quotes on the following screen based on what was entered here. From here we can choose to save the quote or to sell the product which will create a new policy record on the person's page underneath pa uh, policy in the page navigation. From here we'll click to save a couple quotes and you'll see a screen flash that's saving the information and it goes away. And when we're done we can close this screen and back on the original screen here we'll notice we have a refresh link down below and there are the two quotes we've saved. Now if we wanted to email these to a client we could click on email and send a template email and from here we could choose email with quotes, we would select the policy that this applied to and now you see we have the quotes appearing in the body of the email just the way we had set them up in the template and now you can send this email to the client with its quotes.